Hey there, you kooky, crazy, nutty, madcap kids. It is I, the Redneck Preppy, and today we got ourselves a product review. But before we get to that, yoink. So, if you have been a long-time visitor, viewer, whatever, of the channel, you might remember about a year and a half ago to two years ago, I did a uh, What's in My Range Bag video. And if you remember that video, you remember that I had quite a comprehensive range bag large. It was, I don't know, about VA big. It was like huge. Couldn't even fit it here right now. And among the things that it had in there was a this. A gun rest. Now, uh, the gun rest is uh, a Caldwell, I think the Rock Jr. is what this particular model is. Uh, and it's a fine gun rest. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got uh, a three foot Y pattern base. Uh, it elevates about three inches, I think, off the lowest setting, and it's got itself a padded rest up above. I think it's filled with rice, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, what are the problems with this? Well, first of all, it takes up quite a bit of space. Uh, I don't know if the camera is actually capturing this, but from here to here, uh, maybe a foot. I don't know, maybe this side is actually longer. But it takes up a lot of space. It actually takes up maybe a third of my range bag. Um, you can see the picture here right now. I don't know if it's actually accurately showing it because it kind of seems to almost make, um, the angle makes it kind of look tiny inside of the range bag, but it actually takes up a good chunk of space. The second problem is, is that uh, this very solid gun rest, which is what you want out of the gun rest with its cast iron bottom, weighs, I think in the neighborhood of about five pounds, which translates into two and a quarter kilograms. Not heavy on its own, but um, when in concert with everything else in my range bag, stapler, spotting scope, tool kit, ammunition, whatever, it actually adds up, and I think this thing actually weighs a considerable percentage of what my range bag is. So I've been on a kick lately of trying to lighten my range bag, and the prime candidate was obviously going to be that uh, gun rest. So I was just casting about the internet, doing some searches for other things, and I came across this. It's called the Allen Alpha Light Folding Gun Rest. And I gotta say, I'm a fan of it. So this thing comes in two sizes. Uh, this is the medium size, uh, which retails for $15.99, and it is a total of 8.75 inches tall. You can also get a large size for $17.99, and it's 12 and a quarter inches tall. There's no small size. Now, Allen says it has a non- or a, rather a slip resistant base and it has a sturdy semi-rigid construction. Now I'm not going to lie, uh, I was dubious. To me gun rests or shooting rests, whatever you prefer, are supposed to be heavy and solid like that Caldwell. Turns out this is actually pretty damn good. First of all, how does it work? As you can see it is, in fact, quite thin. It's got kind of like a canvas covering on it. I'm not sure what's on the inside. I think it's some kind of plastic uh, on the back or the front, if you prefer. But I think the side's supposed to go to you. Uh, you've got a space for three cartridges. Eh, whatever. To put it together, you see that there is a flap that's inside. You pull the flap out. Put it on. I'm doing this around the camera, so this is going to be a little awkward. And there you go. There's your gun rest. Space for your rifle, stock, and boom. Literally and figuratively. So like I said, I was dubious about this. Because uh, I don't, I really wasn't convinced that something like this could stand up to anything more than maybe 223 or 22, a smaller caliber round, maybe six and a half, you know, something easy recoiling. So I decided to take it out the other day and test it with a stout round, uh, in particular, the 577 450 cartridge. 
out of my 1887 Martini Henry. That round's got a 400 grain bullet, uh, traveling at about 1450 feet per second out of the muzzle. Not the heaviest, it's not a 50 caliber round, but it's still a pretty stout round. My biggest concerns uh, were going to be with stability, both uh, in terms of shooting and recoil response. You know, is this thing going to bounce back or whatever? Here's some footage. So as you can see, uh, it actually passed both tests. It is fairly stable with a rifle here, uh, and it doesn't really react to a recoil. Um, I do tend to hot load the Martini Henry round, um, and it had no issues whatsoever slipping and sliding all over the place. Put it back together, close it, and at the end of your shooting session, there you go. Takes up no room. So, uh, the pros of this, it certainly is light. I mean, this literally weighs, you know, I don't know, maybe eight, nine ounces. Well, I don't know, maybe more than that, but I don't think it weighs a pound. Uh, again, it's compact. This will fit in most bags, backpacks. Uh, and it stands up to recoil, no question about that. Cons, though. I can see this having a possibly short life. Uh, you know, Velcro does tend to wear out over time. I mean, I don't care if this Velcro goes, the part that holds it inside when not in use. But this part here could certainly uh, wear out. Granted, replacing core, uh, Velcro is not difficult. You can get more of it in exactly the size. You can even upgrade it if you want with heavy-duty Velcro. But, you know, something to keep in mind. Uh, I also find that the slot where you put your rifle uh, grip or barrel, whatever it may be, might not be big enough for those rifles that have a larger foregrip, so keep that in mind. Uh, the biggest problem I have is also that it's non-adjustable. It's This is the medium size. It's 8.75 inches. That's it. You can make it taller in theory by putting something underneath it, but and then you're starting to get into balance issues if it slips off and all that stuff. Not ideal. Uh, and then you've got the 12 and a quarter. That's it. Uh, whatever else you can say about this, it does adjust at least. So at the end of the day, uh, would I recommend this? <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, at the end of the day, I would still recommend using something like this. Uh, I think you know, this is a great uh, gun rest, shooting rest. Its weight, its adjustability, I think, are its key selling points. And I would certainly recommend something like that. However, if you're like me, and you're looking to lighten up, you don't mind that this isn't going to last forever, uh, I think that the Allen Alpha Light folding gun rest is actually a pretty decent solution. So I intend on using this as my primary gun rest going forward. So anyway, that was it. Just a quick and dirty little review of this gun product that I rather like. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, share it if you'd like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see other videos along these lines, and leave a comment below if you've used this and you like it or you don't like it or what you use as a gun rest. It's all good. Anyway, uh, in the links below in the description, you'll find uh, both Twitter and Facebook that I operate. And that's about it. I hope you have a great day. Happy shooting. Bye-bye.